Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> Hope you all are doing well. I'm off to my boyfriend's house. I know, it's a change of pace, isn't it? And as you all see, I have finally figured out how to not have the freaking phone recording. I actually finally found a way to have it safely sideways in my car. Safely. And now you shouldn't do it. But at the same time, Anybody? It's not distracting me, that's for sure. <sighs> well, oh, got really dark in here all of a sudden. <laughs> Probably because I don't have an angle like I did last time where my face is all shining bright. Stupid sun. I know, it was actually really dark and uh, cloudy earlier. It was really refreshing and nice. It looked like it was gonna rain. I wanted rain. Had a nice morning with watching YouTube videos and uh, drinking my PSL. Basic bitches, PSL. <laughs> Not like a Starbucks pumpkin spice. Actually, I guess it technically wouldn't even be a PSL, you know, pumpkin spice latte. It was just one of those uh, <clears throat> pumpkin spice creamers and uh, my Folgers coffee, so. To me, it's like a PSL, but better because it's homemade and yum here. <laughs> I love Starbucks. The best thing I love from there is their green tea lattes that they have. That's my favorite. I love green tea. Oh, it's in the back. That's weird. I don't like hearing weird noises from my car. It's kind of weird. I think something is just vibrating in the back. I have some stuff in uh, my trunk. I really need to clean out my car, but then at the same time, my car really isn't that dirty. I mainly just keep a lot of my work stuff in my car, like uh, my apron, my name tag, backpack where I keep all my lunches and stuff in, or um, actually, what am I for sure? But none of it's trash, thankfully. I'm not a trash hoarder like some people, which I, <laughs> I think is good, because I have vowed that I will never have a trashy car. Never. Granted, my car can get a little um, congested at times because, you know, I have work stuff in it, like a backpack and, you know, other supplies, but I will never have a car like some people who you go to step inside the back and it's just like, oh, trash. That's lovely. Nah, it's just brilliant. Then again, I don't think I could ever have a trashy car. The car that I drive is a PT Cruiser and I actually typically inherited it from my grandmother. She's not dead, thankfully, knock on wood, she's not dead. <laughs> it's just they got a new car and so uh, they wanted the PT Cruiser to stay in the family because my grandmother had owned this car for, what was it, like 12 years and so she's like, no, I don't want to sell the PT Cruiser. Any you kids want it? It was technically first supposed to go to my older sister. However, she went into the Air Force. She went to Mississippi. Then it was supposed to go to me. But I was in Washington. And at the time, go on, go on. Move faster, motherfucker. I'm not gonna hit you. Get your hobo tent out of my way. Um, <laughs> it's like a weird fucking uh, trailer. Um, but, yeah, like I was saying, it was supposed to go to me, but I was in Washington, and at the time, I didn't have my driver's license yet, so, my dad took it over, and so, while I've been at my father's place, I've been the sole person driving it, I am on, you know, the insurance, and, I mean, literally, I am the sole person taking care of this car, besides the fact that I have not had to actually pay the insurance for it yet. Tax, I guess. But I mean, we're always having um, getting the oil changed. I've been getting it gas. I've been keeping it clean. You know, basic stuff. But yeah, PT Cruiser. However, <laughs> I've been trying to make it my own and not my grandmother's. Not to say that I don't love my grandmother. I want you know her to be with me all the time. But 
the funny thing is about my grandmother is that she wears a certain perfume and she wears it a lot and very often and sometimes in really high doses and it just permeates through things like we'll go visit her house and it's, it smells like Omi. We're like, oh, like, we're at Omi's house. And then like a week later when we're home, we're like, holy crap, my clothes still smell like Omi's. What the fuck? <laughs> so, and it totally happened to this car too. And so every time it got, you know, above 80 in Fortuna, I would come into my car, I'm like, oh, it smells like Omi. It's not a bad smell, but it's kind of one of those, it smells like Omi in here. I kind of want it to be my car. <laughs> so, two weeks ago now, I got this cute little uh, owl scent thing from Bed Bath, not Bed Bath, yeah, from uh, Bath and Body Works. And at the moment, oof, it's strong. <laughs> at the moment, it holds like a grape vineyard in it. I don't know, my, my boyfriend wanted it, wanted it, and I was like, it was a sale thing where you can get like two for one or whatever and I was like, well, I like this autumn scented one, but I need another one. But all of the scents that were there were either freaking scent destroying, like you would just smell it and your nose would be like, oh god, or <laughs> it just wasn't enough. Like I liked a, I think it was like a vanilla lavender that they had, but it, it wasn't strong enough. It was like, Okay, I smell it a little bit, but would it actually really work in my car? Granted, these are the sample ones that they have out that they've probably been out there for like fucking weeks. <laughs> but I ended up choosing like a like a pumpkin cupcake one that I really enjoy, but I'll use that a little later in the fall. This should last for I'm gonna say two months. I don't want to say I should put the pumpkin spice one in first, but you know, whatever. I'm a pleaser. My boyfriend wanted to smell it, so I got it. But, yeah. So now my car actually smells kind of like what I want it to smell like, if you would. And then, yeah, it just smells like how I want it to smell. However, I do name my things. I name my appliances. Or my computers and electronics, I know. It's weird, but... Car. Her name is Omi, because then I will always know that my Omi is going to protect me if anything goes wrong. She's there for me, she's there to get me places, and you know, they're on time, and it'll always be reliable to me. I know it's corny, but still. <laughs> and then, so my car's name is Omi. My phone, my new phone that I got, like, last month. Has a, my favorite color is purple. I'm just gonna put that out. My favorite color is purple. This car is purple, which is great. And my phone, at least the phone case, is purple. It's like purple and gray. And so its name is Violet. I was debating on indigo when my boyfriend um, suggested I name indigo for something different. But I'm like, this doesn't, that doesn't really fit much. Her name's Violet. My phone is Violet. Don't don't do that. <laughs> So I have Omi and Violet, and then I have a computer, which is a Toshiba, like, Slim, or whatever the fuck, I don't remember what it's called, the technical term for it, but it's a really thin computer that's pure silver, and the computer I had before that was a Toshiba as well, but it was blue and it was kind of chunky. <laughs> that laptop was named Lappy. This is my first laptop I ever had. His name was Lappy. <laughs> the second one I got my last year of school because Lappy decided to go suicidal on itself and its motherboard decided to go the week before school started. Luckily my mother was awesome enough and helped me get a new computer. It's her soul. I love her. Um, but the new one that I have that's silver and super shiny, his name is Slim Shiny. I love it. But, uh, yeah. So I got Slim Shiny, Violet, Omi. I don't think I have any other appliances. Oh, my Xbox is Mr. Xenox. Xenox? Yeah, Mr. Xenox. I don't fucking know. I was just gonna go the name of the tag. 
But I mean, it works, Mr. Xenox. Um, dude, speaking of freaking Xboxes, though, I was on Destiny last night. I was playing the Taken King and, you know, doing missions and stuff like that. And I got, I was in the tower, uh, putting some of my shit away in my vault. Because sadly, all of the old year one appliance, or uh, a gear that you got, totally was downgraded and, you know, debuffed. So, though I love the style of it, it's utterly useless now in the new, in year two. Utterly useless. And so, I was putting it all in my vault. And as I was putting stuff in my vault, I got a friend request from somebody. His name was like, I don't remember his fucking name. It was weird. Um, and I got a friend request. It's like, eh, you know, it doesn't hurt to have more than one, or more than a <clears throat> just people who I know in person on my Xbox as friends. So like, yeah, sure. So I added him. Like two minutes later, I get this message from him and it's a voice message. So I have my headset on. I play it. And it's a super fucking creepy voice saying, thanks for accepting, thanks for accepting my friend's request. And then that's it. I was like, while that sweet and all, that was a super creepy fucking voice. Why? Like, it was like he just got out of bed, slash, was a super fucking creepy guy. He was like, thanks for sending, thanks for accepting my friend's request. Okay, Xbox people! I think the weirdest thing that I've ever gotten from playing Xbox, though, my gamer tag is, if you guys ever want to find me on Xbox, my gamer tag is LadyDawn94. And I actually, so, needless to say, by my name itself, Lady Dawn, I get a shit ton of people, or should I say, a shit ton of guys sending me random ass messages saying, you know, like, hey baby, da 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 da, wanna be my girlfriend? And I'm just like, no, no. And I actually, the cutest one I got was somebody sent me one and says, all right, is your name Ariel? Because I think we were mermaids for each other. Super fucking corny, I know, but I think that was the cutest one I actually got from a random ass guy sending me a message on Xbox. It's like, that's, that's kind of cute, but no. <laughs> I don't know, it's weird. I don't know if any other girls have gotten really creepy messages, but then again, I guess that's the bad thing about having a gender related um gamer tag i don't know i love lady dawn lady dawn is my tag for almost everything mainly started when i was playing halo uh but the main thing i'll tell you guys in a later vlog because i'm actually at my boyfriend's house right now is uh where dawn came from as you all know my name is krista so why would I have a nickname for Dawn? And it's another vlog to tell you about, which involves my sister. But, um, <clears throat> we'll go into later detail about that. But for now, yeah, if you guys ever want to find me, my Xbox name is da Lady Dawn. Come find me. Let's play some freaking Taken King on Xbox 360, because I need to do some work on that shit. Like, for real. I mean, I've only been playing a little bit so far. My character's already uh, fully up to date in level 40, but there is so much crap you have to do for Taken King. Like, I was doing a mission last night, and I was just getting super fucking aggro because I was playing against... What was the mission called? It was... Oh, I had to go to the... Comp oh, this might be spoilers for some people, but it's not really spoilers. Um, I had to go to the Cabal ship and infiltrate the, um, signal that they were getting from their leader. Oh, sorry, my mom's coming here, so I have to end this vlog here soon. And I was just getting super aggro because I couldn't defeat the fucking guy at the end. Getting super fucking aggro. So if you guys want to find me, find me on LadyDawn94. it would be really fun, and we'll have some fun with it. Um... You guys have a wonderful day. So I know I will. I'm on my boyfriend's gonna play some DD tonight. Woot woot. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day and remember, smile.